हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो इनवर्स हाइपरबोलिक फंक्शन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना सी अ प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन इनवर्स हाइपरबोलिक फंक्शन एंड आई एम श्योर यू विल एंजॉय इट सो हियर वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट हाइपरबोलिक tan इनवर्स ऑफ sin theta इज इक्वल टू हाइपरबोलिक cos इनवर्स ऑफ sec theta सो टू प्रूव दैट these two sides are equal we are going to start with any one side so here i'll start from the rhs so right hand side is hyperbolic cos inverse of sec theta so to show that the value of this is equal to hyperbolic tan inverse of sin theta i need to find out the value of right hand side first now guys to get that value here i'm going to use the formula of hyperbolic cos inverse of x so so this is the formula of hyperbolic cos inverse of x now since we have the term hyperbolic cos inverse of sec theta i'm going to substitute this x as sec theta so everywhere on the right hand side i will substitute x as sec theta now guys here we got the value but to prove that this is equal to left hand side i will solve that right hand side again so i'll solve this part and i'll try to minimize it so here we can apply the different formula of trigonometry as well so you can see that here we have sec square theta minus 1 and we know that it is tan square theta and also we have square root outside it so square root of tan square theta is tan theta so here we'll get log of sec theta plus tan theta now can we minimize it further so the answer is yes because we know that sec theta is 1 upon cos theta and tan theta is sin theta upon cos theta so in this term we can get cos theta in the denominator so now since we have cos theta in both the terms with plus sign between we can take a common denominator so we'll get now guys this is the value of right hand side so for time being i'll stop over here and we'll move ahead with the left hand side so in the left hand side we have hyperbolic tan inverse of sin theta so we'll again solve that and we'll try to prove that its value is equal to log of 1 plus sin theta upon cos theta now guys to get the value of hyperbolic tan inverse of sin theta i'm going to use the formula of hyperbolic tan inverse of x so by the formula of hyperbolic tan inverse of x here we have 1 plus x upon 1 minus x now the value of x is sin theta so i'll write it is 1 plus sin theta upon 1 minus sin theta now guys this is the value that we got for left hand side but if we observe the right hand side there we got log of 1 plus sin theta upon cos theta and here we do not have any half outside the log so to prove that these two values are equal what we'll do is i'll further simplify this value of cos hyperbolic cos inverse of sec theta i'll further simplify the value of hyperbolic cos inverse of sec theta and for that here i will multiply this log term by 2 and divide it by 2 so we'll get now guys we can take this 2 here in the power but the property of logarithm which is b log a is log a to the power b so that will become half log of 1 plus sin theta upon cos theta and this 2 will go here that will become square now guys this is the value of right hand side now since we want to match this value with the value of left hand side 
you can observe that here we got half and the log but still the values of bracket are not matching now for that what i'll do is i'll take this square separately in the numerator as well as in the denominator so you will get now guys we know that the value of cos square theta is 1 minus sin square theta now you must be thinking why i am taking that value because you can observe here that in the denominator i want 1 minus sin theta so it means i should convert this cos term into the sin term so here numerator will remain same and in the denominator i will substitute cos square theta as 1 minus sin square theta Now guys, here 1 minus sin square theta, I can treat this by the formula of a square minus b square. So here, we all know this identity that is a square minus b square equal to a plus b into a minus b. So guys, by this identity, here we will get 1 minus sin theta into 1 plus sin theta and then that 1 plus sin theta will be cancelled with the 1 plus sin theta of the numerator and finally we'll get half log now 1 1 plus sin theta is cancelled so only 1 is remaining in the numerator so 1 plus sin theta in the numerator and in the denominator we'll just get 1 minus sin theta because we have cancelled that 1 plus sin theta with the numerator so guys, now you can observe that the value of right hand side is exactly equal to the value of left hand side. And since both values are same, we can say that we have proved the given result. And that is why I'll say, and here we have proved the result. So guys, I'm sure that you have understood this explanation. So now what you have to do? So first thing, share this video with your friends because if they know the explanation of the engineering mathematics or this numerical they can get good marks in the examination and the second thing is you have to subscribe to this channel then only you will be able to get the latest updates and the new videos that we are putting every day on ekira channel thank you very much for watching videos and keep loving us